afternoon. Afternoon. You look lost. Sorry? You look lost. This is the rehabilitation unit, isn't it? Through those doors. Oh. Is there anyone in particular you need to see? Might be. It's all right, I work here. As what? I'm an art therapist. Ah. Now you say, what's art therapy? After 20 years of nursing, I know every therapy there is. But something tells me you're left unimpressed. I've yet to see somebody paint themselves better. Then you've never worked here, have you? Not yet. Afternoon, Gordon. Zach's awaiting his meals, Lorna. You can go through. Good afternoon, Dr. Alexander. Vivian. Glad you could come. <laughs> well, it's been years, but you've not changed a bit. No have you. Who are you trying to kid? Well, I suppose you do look a bit uh, haggard. That's more like it. It's the stress of juggling two jobs at once. Only two. And the patients I can handle. It's the pay for work, which is where I was hoping you're going to help. I'm just having a look around, remember? Understood. Tea or coffee before we start? No, thank you. Come on, then. Any questions, just ask. Nothing involving IT, OK? I can't even fathom out my new mobile. <laughs> During our last session, you mentioned that there was an old lady in the room. Is she there again? Yes. Do you recall her name? Or where she lives? No. Does she know you? No. You're strangers, but you're talking to each other in her room. She's talking. And she's frightened. This is freaking me out. I don't like it. I don't it's like all right, it. Zach. You're doing really well. Now, can you remember what she's talking about? It could be very important. Why? Why, why the dark stuff? That's what I want to know. Hmm? Why can't I remember something nice, like uh, like a holiday or, or my first lay, instead of this? Well, memory doesn't always work in an orderly fashion for any of us. I can remember how to talk. Uh, spot repeats on the telly. Uh, and, and, and I've got a head full of songs I can't get rid of, so how come I don't remember my real name? That's why we must explore what we can, where we can, OK? And for now, this is all we've got. I'd like to try to build on it. No. What about this one? We talked about this last week, remember? The young boy. Well, what do you think? I'm impressed. Enough to be tempted away? You'd be invaluable here. Dr Alexander, I'm here because you invited me. I'm not sure I'm looking for a new position. I'm quite happy where I am. Well, I won't give up yet. So, we also have a range of therapies to help people prepare for life outside the hospital. Occupational therapy, art therapy... Why the face? I can see they look good on your prospectus, but are you sure all these therapies are really necessary? Like chemotherapy and radiotherapy. You know what I mean. No, I'm not sure I do. Take, for example, this patient named Zag, found wandering in New Street Station with a knock to the head. Nobody knows who he is or where he's from. Again, you don't know who he is. You're strangers. It's dark, but the boy's in the... It's a, it's a shed, um, or, or, or a cellar, or something. Um, it's, it's pitch black. The, uh, the kid's hiding. Is it a game? Uh, no, no, he's terrified. I'm just getting this straight, Zach. You're in there with him. Uh, yes. Um. I, uh, I, I, I think so. I, I, I don't know. Does he want you there, do you think? Uh, yes. Yes. He likes me there with him. He's told me. What else is he telling you? Um, he, he's whispering. It's hard to hear. But you know what he's saying. Some of it, yes. Is, is he being abused, Zach? I can't tell. Why not, Zach? Because you... 
I just think I'm some sort of perfect I won't, perfect. I promise you. Oh, I'm listening to myself and it sounds dodgy enough. I'm not here to judge. I'm just trying to reach your memory. What? What sort of person can do that? So why don't you tell me? Just leave it. About the child, Zach. What's happening to the boy, hmm? I, I can't tell you, all right? It's between, it's between me and him and nothing to do with you! What I'm saying is, the art therapist is really beginning to see some results. <laughs> Everything all right? This is Vivian, by the way. I'm hoping she'll be joining us here before long. Well, at least it missed the artwork. Unfortunately. Things not going so well today. Excuse me. No, quite the opposite. We've made some real progress. Oh, you might have. You're not so positive, as I. GB, if that was a sum total of your long-term memory. Uh, no, I don't suppose I would. It must be absolutely terrifying. It is. But, uh, but what scares me is it's not who I am. You know, Zach, the, the amnesiac, but uh, who I might have been. You know, Joe Bloggs, the... Well, whatever. Well, we're going to have to confront that sooner or later if we're going to move on. And I want to move on. And I want to get my life back. But like she says, it's terrifying. Because when I see these pictures, I... Uh, I think I'm better off living in limbo. Yes, of course, I've tried contacting him before and after the funeral, but that's him all over. He couldn't care less about anyone else. No, no, believe me, he will turn up one day when it suits him. So no brother, no will, is that what you're telling me? But we've had to push quite hard because it's vital that we explore what little information we have. Yes, within reason, of course. Of course. Can I ask a question? Is that OK, Zach? Why haven't they any faces? Don't know. What's going on? Well, I've been trying to explore that very point, but Zach becomes uneasy talking about the drawing, so... It's, it's the first thing I draw, somebody's face. But we're discussing Zach, aren't we? I mean, have you... have you actually seen these people? I'm gonna have to stop this session, since we've been interrupted. I'm sorry. M maybe I haven't seen them. If you want to explore this as a possibility, that's fine. But not now. I, I could be imagining it. It just seems funny. You know their secrets, but you don't know what they look like. It, it's like you're eavesdropping in another room. That's enough. This is not a free-for-all. But they're definitely talking to me. Or maybe you're not there at all. Maybe you're on the table. This isn't right, Gordon. It's compromising hours of careful work. Yes. Uh, come on, Vivian. We'd better go. It was just my opinion. Which you're not qualified to make. Yeah, I liked her better. Improvements in some patients has been fantastic. I'm not, uh, I'm not against therapy. I'm just against the therapist. Well, he's under the care of a lot of people, not just Lorna, and she's fully qualified, had years of training, completed an MA to do this job. Um, oh, I thought of... But silence this. It's your page, yeah. Mine was fair comment. There was no need for her to be so defensive. I'll, um, I'll come and find you as soon as I've sorted this. Mm -hmm. All I say about Lorna is don't judge her on appearances. I'm not. But she is judging Zach on his. Hello, hello, it's, uh, hello, it's Zach. Zach here. Hello. Uh... Hello. Hello, it's Paul. Hello, it's Paul here. How, how are you? I'm all right. How, I'm, how are you? Hello. 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 Ha hello. Can I help you? Hello. C can I help you? Hello, it's... Uh, uh, how, 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 how can I help you? Hello, it's... it's ha oh, uh, uh, Dave, hello. This is... Can I help you? Uh, hello, it's... 
can I can I help you? Hello, can I help you? It's uh, it's how can I help you? Can I help you? This is how how Harry Hugo. Hello, it's uh, hello. This is Hugo. Oh, Humad. Humad. Hum. Ah. Hello, it's Hugh. Hu, hum, humanity. 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 Human. Humanity line. Hello, this is Humanity line. Can, can I help you? Yeah, sure. But I feel I'm pretty close to getting to the bottom of this. You haven't had a go at me before. No, it doesn't bother me. Terrorising old folk and young kids is more his style. Yes, a real challenge, considering there was absolutely nothing to go on at the start. But when did my career any harm? Great material for a PhD. I've got to go. I'll, I'll give you a call later. OK, bye. Did you actually hear me mention a name when you were hiding in your cubicle? I didn't need to. If Zack is the nasty piece of work you seem to think he is, he'd have a criminal record, wouldn't he? So why didn't the police identify him when they found him? They've got photographic records, fingerprints and DNA they can use. I never said he had a record. I'm just saying I'm convinced these pictures may reveal real victims and I have a duty and a responsibility to explore that. You have a duty to your patient, not to pass judgment on. Oh, where do you get off staring it up like this? I'm just speaking my mind, that's all. Yeah, well, fortunately for me, I don't have to stick around and listen to you. You're an interfering biddy and you've been niggling away at me right from the start. Just stay out of my way. Is he? And that's in Leatherbridge? Yes. It was Zach. He went off down the road. Lorna, it appears Zach's run off. Oh, no. Is this his? Humanity line? That, that's a helpline, isn't it? For the suicidal. If it is, he kind of got far. Did you talk to him again? No, because he was absolutely fine before you started interfering. Don't blame me. Enough, you two. I've a vulnerable patient missing. I haven't time for your squabbling. Lorna, check the building, see if he hasn't returned. OK. What can I do? I'm sorry, Vivian, but your presence isn't helping just at the moment. <sighs> but I saw which way he went. actually do is he here oh. look Gordon I admit I did push that but I felt justified because I've built up a rapport he may not like me but he feels he can trust me well if you find him just don't push him any further excuse me I'm looking for dr. Alexander that's me oh I'm looking for a patient of yours John Carlson sorry uh, have you got the right department ah <laughs> uh. And the police tell me that he's going under a different name. All right. You didn't get far. I'm on my way back. I found your sheet with Humanity Line on it. It's for people in times of crisis. Did you call? They called me. What? 
the old woman and the young boy. I'm sorry, you've lost me. I wasn't actually there with them. They were talking to me, telling me all this stuff over the phone. So, who are they? That's what I wondered, until I remembered the phone line. They felt they could talk to me because I was a stranger. I gave them my word that what they said was between me and them, and they trusted me. So you're... A volunteer on the humanity line. <gasps> <laughs> so I called them. Obviously, they don't know who I am. Well, I don't know who I am, but I learnt enough to know that this is what my drawings are all about. So he's gone walkabout, has he? Why doesn't that surprise me? I'm terribly sorry. He left before we could stop him. No, don't apologise. Try to help the man. He kicks you in the teeth every time. You say he lives in London. What brought him to Leatherbridge? Perhaps if we could discover that. Well, our father died recently and he lived here. John's doubtless after the money. I was wondering if you knew anything about the people in the pictures. I think as soon as we discover who they are, we can use the information to unlock his memory. Lorna, I'm rather more concerned about bringing him back safely to see his sister. I think that'll help unlock his memory. No, don't worry about him. He'll turn up when he's ready. Uh, excuse me. Just, just one minute. Gordon, I want him returned safely too, but I think the pictures hold important clues. What about? The boy and the old woman. Look, if Zach has done something to these people and his memory returns, he could choose to forget all about it rather than be discovered. I think a little more thought for your patient might be appropriate here. I am thinking about Zach, but I'm also thinking about the people in the pictures, whoever they are. I'm not saying he definitely did harm them. I'm just trying to get as much information as I can. Lorna, I've no time to debate this with you now. If Zach returns or you hear from him, I'm on my mobile. It feels like I'm pushing at a door and any minute it's going to open and my whole life will come crashing back. That's good, isn't it? Well, it depends what I'm going to find. Come on, let's go back to the hospital. No, not yet. Well, at least let me call them and let them know you're all right. Okay, if you phone them, that's it, I'm off. Very well. Does this interfere? It's something I've got to do and I've got to do it now in case I forget. What's this, more memories? You ought to show alone of these. Mm. There's an old man and a younger woman this time. And a song going round in my head, it's driving me nuts. Well, they've got faces. Yeah, they're not phone calls this time. They don't feel like good news either. Well, you said that about the old woman and the boy, but that didn't turn out so bad. Mm, for me, I don't know about them. But will you help me? Why me? Because you're here, and uh, I need someone who knows the area. You do, don't you? Well, yes, but, um... Well, maybe you're just like Lorna. And really, you think I'm a bad person and muggy for your mobile. No, I'm not like Lorna. And getting stroppy won't help your cause. OK, sorry. Where did you have in mind? I'm not really sure it exists. If it does, I might get this song out of my head. Can we stop whistling now, please? This is it. Um, I recognise his house. Are you sure? Of course I'm not sure. I'm getting a serious sense of deja vu from this place. Look, look, let's go back to the hospital and we can make some inquiries. And then we can come back later now we've got the address. I'll be right now, Vivian. You can leave me here if you want. Come on. You can't go knocking at strangers' doors. But they're not strangers. I'm sure they're not. So over the past two weeks, I've attempted to discover his identity from a few drawings. Getting pretty close to the truth by the sound of it. If I could give you a few choice epithets to add to your case notes. Like? <laughs> Feckless, selfish, insensitive. Samantha, do you know if your brother's got a criminal record? Minor stuff as a teenager. Well, I can't hang around waiting for the prodigal's return. Can you phone me? When he decides to put in an appearance. Of course. Hello? Hello, is anyone home? No one's in, Zach. Come on, let's let's come back later. This is someone's house. She can't just waltz in. This is my past. I know it's got something to do with me. Look. Come on, or someone's going to call the police. Maybe you should, so we can get to the bottom of this. 
Look, you asked me to help you, and I did. Now, what's going on? If I knew that, I'd tell you. Right. I'm calling Dr Alexander. Just one thing, the doctor said. That's all it could take to get my memory back, and it's here somewhere. I know it is. What are you looking for? The old man? The, the girl? Me. Voicemail. This is mine. All my junk. Look around, see if anyone's got my name on it. Property of Ollie Duggan? Does that mean anything to you? It should do. He's a flatmate. You nick them off. Sammy. Hello, John. John. I suppose now you've regained your memory, you've come to dispute the will. What will? I'm surprised you're so upset. You never had time for Dad when he was alive. You know, for years you've left it, care, the nursing, everything to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, now you've come for your inheritance. I, c I couldn't care less about any inheritance. Oh, yeah, right. Well, we'll see about that when the old John returns. Who is this person you and Lorna see? It's not me. It's not who I am. Oh, so this isn't you? The John who couldn't even turn up to his father's funeral? He couldn't be bothered to pay his last respects? If what you say is true, I will always hate myself for how I treated you. Good. But, um, I've, I've been finding things out. I've been trying to turn my life around. Well, it's a bit late for that. I think it's true, Sammy. Character witness, I wondered what you did. He is trying to change. How do you know? John, do you remember the day you were admitted to hospital? Uh, 14th, I think. Oh, nothing wrong with your memory, then. Not short term. The 14th? The day of the funeral. Zack missed his father's funeral because he was in hospital. It looks as if you tried to get there, but for some reason you only made it as far as the station. There were two of them, I think. That's when it happened. That's when I got hit. You know, the main thing is he's all right. And you bring him back? We'll get a cab, charge it to me. Thanks, Vivian. Any luck? Zack's sister and Vivian are with him now. What about you? Did you uncover any important clues in your criminal investigation? No. I think we need a chat about putting your patient's needs first. I always have, Gordon. Then why the obsession with the woman and the boy in the drawing? I don't believe I'm being obsessive. I still have legitimate concerns that they may be victims of abuse. They may be, but not by him. How can you be so sure? Because he was talking to them on a helpline. He's a volunteer for a charity. And you know this because... He told Vivian and Vivian told me. And that's good enough for you, is it? Yes, it is. And if you wish to continue working here, it should be good enough for you. Are we clear on this? Okay. Good. And I think an apology is due when Zach returns. And I needed help, too, and you were never there. Why did you leave it so long? Uh, guilt? Uh, f feeling I'd hurt you and done enough already? Uh, you know, I'm only guessing. You know, he talked about you all the time. And you were his favour when we were kids. You know, I know he loved me, but he loved you more. Stop it. And then you wasted it, and I came to hate you for it. You know, a letter, a phone call once in a while, it's not much to ask. That is all we needed. He's back now, Sammy. But I have felt this way about him for so long. It's not easy to change. Your brother has. What if I find I can't forgive him? Then at least you've tried. Please, Sammy. I'll think about trying. Thank you. Zach, we've been really worried. Why? Well, we didn't know where you were. Are you okay? I was meeting my family. Really? 
I found out that you were wrong about me. You made me think of things you put in my head. I spent far too much time furthering your career instead of listening to your patients. How dare you? Know thyself. That's what this young man's been trying to do. You ought to look to your motives. We were exploring his past using drawings that made. John, my name is John. But you took me in totally the wrong direction. This is where we should have been going. To my dad and my sister. Well, I'm very glad you found them, but you wouldn't have got there without the groundwork we'd already put in. The drawings of the woman and the boy, who were actually trying to speak to Zach on the helpline. I should keep away from her, Zach, in future. John, I mean. Thanks, Vivian. I'm not sure what would have happened if you hadn't turned up. You'd probably be still sitting on that bench, scaring yourself to death. <laughs> With that song in there driving me mad. <laughs> Look, I'd like to give you one of these as a, as a present. Oh, no, no, you, you keep them. I'd like to, please, a uh, sort of thank you. Well, to be honest, they wouldn't quite suit my decor. But I tell you what, why don't you do me something in pastels? Flowers or something? Sure. Oh, if, if, uh, if you give me your address, I could bring it round. You can ask him to visit you. You'd be far too busy rediscovering your life for that. I tell you what, I've got to come back and tell Dr. Alexander I don't want his job. Why don't you leave it in the office? I'll pick it up then. Goodbye, John. Bye. more than a heart attack to stop me. You don't have to put on a brave face in front of me, you know. Lost your tongue. Give that back. It doesn't belong to you. Is this your idea of a joke? Excuse me? My handbag, it's gone missing. Just about to review some of the consultations you recorded. I'll give you a shout when I'm going through a few of them. Great! Shoot me now. Going back to school, the One Show team reset their O-levels tonight at 7. Next this afternoon, it's All Saints.